On October 5, 2019, the march to celebrate the growth of children who are able to access books easier came to life. Starting at the El Museo del Barrio, the 7th Annual Literacy Harlem March began showing the importance of literacy for young kids across Harlem. The march hashtag Rock Those Reads walked along Harlem streets to express their love of literature. Founded by Joseph Rogers and many others, the march spread awareness of the gift of being able to read any book you want as a child. Members carried their favorite books and your chance to the citizens to inspire them to read as well as creating a sense of community amongst Harlem neighbors. In the end, they all gathered at the Dome of Marcus Garvey Park to accomplish everyone's determination in the march and even had a small reading period to express their love of literature, showing how a simple book could grow a stronger community. Hi there, my name is Adrian Enriquez. Diane. My name is Jay Jones and I am a uh, volunteer for Total Equity Now and I've been a volunteer since about 2014. I think reading is important because it gives you power. When you can read, you can understand things um, on your own. You can be critical about the world in a way that you can't be if you can't read. So I always think that um, reading is a source of power and it's a source of um, it's a way for people in a community to be able to decide their own destiny. Oh, I had a flyer, uh, you know, a postcard. I go through Harlem during the week and I usually pick up on what's happening. I think one thing I really like about Total Equity Now is its focus on Harlem and particularly young people in Harlem and highlighting the power um, and the positivity that comes out of Harlem. I think in the past, in particular, Harlem was perceived very differently but Total Equity Now has always been about showing um, the ways that people of color, black and brown people in Harlem have um, been creators, they've been um, advocates, and they've been leaders. Why reading is important, it helps us reconnect with different cultures, it helps us reconnect with different people, it also helps us live different lives. You know the saying, if you want to hide it, you need to put something in a book. And I'm sorry to say, I think that is still the case today. Okay, I work with young people uh, in after school and I'm trying to get them to read, but I think maybe it's more important for us to be reading to the children. Uh, they, they have such difficulties when it comes to punctuation, comes to uh, 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 vocabulary you know, development, so maybe, maybe that ought to be the next thing that becomes important. Everybody get a book and read it to somebody. My favorite book is Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. It's called Sex After Grief. Uh, my favorite book is The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. I can't spoil it for you, you're going to have to read for yourself. 